Well, my two excellent fans, I'm a bit late coming out with this review, as it seems like everyone else on the internet has already given their thoughts on this movie, but bad late than never. In the time since my first non-spoiler review of Godzilla vs. Kong, I've actually been back to the cinema to see it again in gold class. And after the initial shock worn off, I can safely say that this movie is still the best movie of 2021. And I really do believe it will stay that way. This is the biggest movie of the year. And I don't just mean that because the two main characters are the two biggest characters in cinema. But this is the movie... This is the movie we need right now. It's the movie cinema needs right now. It's the movie the world needs right now. Now, a lot of other reviewers will say things like the simplistic, the simplistic nature of the plot, there not being a really great reason for Godzilla and Kong to fight each other other than there can't be two Alpha Titans. And the one note aspect of the characters and the missed opportunities for some of them, which I'll get into in other videos... But that's not the point of this movie. People overanalyze this movie and kind of forget what it is. It's not a deep political message. It's not major character development. It is exactly what its title is about. Godzilla vs. Kong. And as far as that goes, this movie succeeds in all ways as we get not one, not two, but three times these guys fight it out. And even another match where they duke it out against a third opponent. Who you'll need to watch the movie to find out who that is. But all that being said. The way Godzilla and Kong are depicted in this movie. This is the best the two of them have looked in years. Probably the best the two of them have looked in the MonsterVerse. The animation is spectacular. They're both incredibly expressive. And they're no longer just animals or monsters they are actual characters in their own right kong's interactions with the young iwi girl jia are especially noteworthy as in his his expressions with her and his interactions with her are so heartwarming and touching and the actress who plays her does a fantastic job i actually do believe this little girl is interacting with a gigantic ape whereas for godzilla he is legitimately intimidating in this movie. Like, he's always been intimidating, but since he's depicted in a more antagonistic light, though he isn't the villain, he just goes to show just how, how deadly and furious he can be when he's pissed off. But still, I never got the sense that he was evil, and I really do appreciate the film not doing that, not turn not turning the audience against Godzilla. Both of the arguments for these titans are represented in their human in their human allies, Team Godzilla and Team Kong. And whichever side you root for, and whoever you and whoever you wanted to win the fight between Godzilla and Kong, both Titans are represented well in this movie. I myself have been Team Godzilla all the way, but I'm not going to lie that Kong's moments were also especially moving and awesome. I'm very proud of both of both these guys and how far they've come in the, in this universe. As I can say before, this is the biggest and best movie of 2020, and I will continue to say that regardless of what anyone else on the internet has to say. That is my opinion, but it is also my T Rex Slint opinion, guys. I cannot stress enough go out and watch this movie if you can, order it on HBO Max, do whatever you can to support the MonsterVerse and support cinema in any way you can in these difficult times because I definitely want to see more movies like this one and I think you do too.